Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have an historical battle. It is the Battle of Zama. Now this battle was the final battle of the Second Punic Wars between Hannibal and of course Rome. And unfortunately for Hannibal he lost. He fought against his long-term adversary Scipio Africanus. And this, is, this battle is on hard difficulty like the previous battle previous historical battle which I fought and straight away I'm peppering the elephants with my with my cavalry, my Numidian cavalry and my uh, missile cavalry and I've unfortunately I've lost my <laughs> my skirmishers fairly early on in this battle and this battle did take me a few goes until until I finally got it right it, it, you know it can be a bit tricky but once you work out what the AI tends to do it can be fairly easy. So what I'm doing here, I'm taking my first line and my second line. I'm taking a couple of units out from that line and stretching my back line. Because in this battle, Hannibal actually has a very strong uh, third line. He has some of his sacred band and some of, some of Carthage's best units. And of course, historically in this battle, what Rome did to counter the war elephants was they all formed square like my back line is doing right now. And the elephants just mar marched in a straight line because elephants can't turn properly, so they charged straight forward. They missed the Romans completely, and then they had uh, spearmen at the back of the line ready to take the elephants out. But of course, the game can't quite uh, recreate this moment, but we try our best anyway. And the elephants uh, only down to 10 now, being taken out by my cavalry. Probably not a good combination cavalry versus elephants. Uh, you'd think that the, the cavalry would easily get scared by. I have elephants. And uh, this this is very it's a very interesting battle to read about. The the Carthaginians actually outnumbered the Roman, depending on which source you believe. But the, by around about five to ten thousand is what uh, some of the numbers have been have been mentioned, that's the, the difference. But Rome still prevailed and unfortunately for Hannibal he he had to flee Carthage. I think he ended up going to uh, modern day Turkey is where he ended up eventually. He ended up fighting as a, a sort of mercenary for the Seleucid Empire and did fight Rome again in a naval battle. But unfortunately the, his glory days were over by then. But to take nothing away from the general, he was a fantastic uh, ancient general. One of the best around and this battle probably sums up the two best at the time in the world because going into this battle Scipio Africanus and Hannibal Barker himself were both undefeated in battle. I'm just uh, bringing my my right line now, my two units into the into the fray. Unfortunately, what tends to happen in these battles is that you do get an awful lot of mu units merging together into big blobs. You do tend to do a lot of blobbing. I have start here, just just using the whip, getting stuck in. Got one blob on the left hand side, one in the centre and one on the right hand side at the moment. And now this is where Carthage is dangerous, they're pushing, they're slowly pushing their elite troops. While I try to take out their Valeric Slingers with my with my cavalry. But my Hastati have done well there and they can now push on to the next unit to attack. But meanwhile what I'm doing here is, I'm committing my lesser units, I'm keeping my main units in the back line in reserve. Because that secondary line by Carthage can cause me terrible, terrible... Uh, headaches, <laughs> so it's important that that I do that. Uh, the cavalry here, they are able to charge the general, which I was quite surprised with because I was initially going to go for their their missile troops, but the general had a route clean through. I just bring everything in now, well, or, or I'll do it in a second anyway. Just trying to keep all my reserves until the last moment. No point committing them yet because I'll get overstretched. I don't want to lose too many too many units. Rome has good units in this game. It'd be a shame to waste them. And I actually realised then that I actually had them in defensive Testudo, wasn't able to move them, but we all make mistakes. And yeah, probably not the cleanest of battles, but it depends on how you fight it. Let me know in the comments what you think of this battle in Total War Rome 2, and how would you go about fighting it, and where you think I went wrong and what you think I could have done better in this battle. They've been infantry again decimated in the centre now. And as you can see, look how many Roman flags there are in the centre. Easily been able to turn them over. 
having my wicked way with the, with the Carthaginians but they dominate my left flank at the moment so it's a battle of the flanks the general now Hannibal himself charges in and this is where I start to commit my reserve my triari bring them up get them into the fray as well I group up all my actually I don't think I group them up no I don't I, I put them onto a defensive testudo Hannibal's lost two so far he's down to 38 men in his unit Carthaginian Hoplites 127 but they're getting double teamed now look how many men the uh, Carthaginians have committed on on my left flank it's quite uh, it's quite surreal but a uh, sacred band a, a thorn in my backside trying to trying to vanquish them <laughs> and I haven't committed my general yet but I do see an opportunity in a few moments time if you look to the far end of the screen you can see two um, cavalry units two missile cavalry units and I use this opportunity for my general because I don't really want to commit uh, Scipio Africanus against infantry because he'll soon get wiped out and again I realise the defensive test though. just protect the general <laughs> number one priority it's a good idea to try and take out the enemy general as quickly as possible in these battles because of the the morale buffs As you see, Triari doing well against the Carthaginian Hoplites. I think this is where I bring my Triari up. It is. I bring them up to fight the Sacred Band. And this is where I use my general. Bring Scipio to the far end of the, the right flank. Flank around the Carthaginians. Give a rally as well. Start using my buffs. Just pile them all in there. And make note, of course, of the little dots above the flags where you can see green, yellow, and red. Um, as you can see, one of mine's got red and it's actually uh, wavering at the moment. A couple of the Carthaginians are on red as well. Take out the ones on red as quickly as possible. The more men you can break, the more easily the battle will be to win. We charge the cavalry with my infantry. And Hannibal, and not, not Hannibal, what's his name? <laughs> Scipio Africanus, getting mixed up with the two now. I think it's because of my other historical battle where I controlled Hannibal. Getting a bit confused. Anyway, we, we charge in now with my infantry. With my two reserve infantry of Triari to try to retake that left flank. Battle of the flanks. And as you can see, this is where the battle will start to turn now. We start committing all our men. them all in. Hannibal's down to 31. We have 40 in our unit. Our general's unit. I want to keep them boxed in over there. That's what I'm aiming to do. That's why I'm bringing more more men to that flank just to try to, to wedge them in. Keep them in a hold until I can commit more men. And now they start to waver. The battle is starting to turn in my favour now. And I, the one thing as well I'd like to say with historical battles, I don't tend to record them live because I find it quite difficult to to concentrate with commentary and fight a battle at the same time. It is quite a challenge. That's why I, I fight the battle first and then then add my commentary on afterwards. Sort of a, a historical review of the battle. Sacred band. Got a little red dot above them. And look at that wedge, nice, lovely little wedge there, which I've been able to outflank them with. I've actually got a few men behind my my main line now as well, which I haven't used. Well, I have used them, but they've routed and come back to me, which is quite fortunate as well. My men just push on now. I've kept them. I think I've kept most of them in formation attack as well. I don't want them to to break and get easily. Uh, well, deformed, I suppose, by the by the hoplites. 
be nasty. Nasty business that is. And I've set my journal up for a little charge. So I eventually get him to walk on up towards Hannibal. Hannibal has 30, we have 36. Carthaginians are waving. There we go. Down to one. Sacred band unit. Soon to be wiped out. And Hannibal's actually counter charged me, so I charge him now with full speed. And here we go. Epic charge time. Ah! Lovely, jubbly. Unit cam as well. Blood mod in full effect. And we had 33, and they had, well, I think it was 20 left out of that charge so not a bad charge they did have was it 31 before the charge so took 11 of them out and now we commit more men into the little uh, mosh pit over there just charge everything in see how we do if we can take Hannibal out quickly now as well all the more better for us The Triari are now going to charge in into Hannibal while I bring Scipio Africanus back behind my lines. I don't want him to die in this battle. Be nice to win the battle with the general alive. Just form everything up now into that into that mosh pit. The big massive blob. Put a rally on as well to give the men some some morale buffs. Hannibal is down to five, four, and he's gone. His unit is gone. And now we can concentrate on the big massive blob. And there we go, this is where I noticed we had three three units over there not being used, so we bring them in as well. Bring the Legatus behind. Set him up for a nice charge. Lots of dead bodies everywhere and dead elephants and dead horses. Not a pretty sight, but that's warfare for you. <laughs> Set my men up nicely now to cover all all retreats. Not quite the, the same effect as the Battle of Cannae, but it's my own version of uh, Cannae, I suppose. <laughs> Although this isn't the Battle of Cannae, this is the Battle of Zama. But my envelopment is working. Got them covered on all sides. Finish off that unit over there, and then the battle should more or less be ours. There we go, go for a charge with Scipio. Flying in we go, bring him out straight away, don't want to leave him prolonged. Just in case. And we've won that uh, little skirmish at the top, we can bring them in now. To fight all of them. In the centre. And they're dropping like flies, they're all routing. And victory is more or less ours now. There we go, all done, and a victory for Rome. So I hope you've enjoyed this historical battle. I shall leave you all with the results screen. Until next time, goodbye.